Before I create the drop-down list of suppliers, I first need to exclude repetitive items from the list. So I go to Data, Advanced Filter, Copy Results to another location, in my case to cell E4. Then click on Unique Records only and press OK. Now I have a list of suppliers that is not repeating. So I can use it to create drop-down list. To do that I will go to cell B2, click on Data Validation, select List and as a source choose Suppliers we filtered in column E. Then press OK and it will show drop-down list. As example, where drop-down list can be used, I will sum total value of order per supplier. To do that, I use SUMIF function. First, select the range, in my case suppliers from the table. Then criteria, what is cell with the drop-down list. And finally, sum range, what is last column of the table with value of order. So now when I pick other supplier, it will automatically recalculate total value. I can double check it and compare with amounts from table. As you can see, it's showing same amount as function we used. Now let's try it with another supplier. You can see the total value of orders from Walmart calculated by function is same as when I sum it manually. And that's it. Thank you for watching.